Hey everyone, it's Dave. I saw some videos online on how to check a heater element and I didn't think they really told the whole story so I thought I'd make a quick video to show everyone how to actually check one and just go through the steps here. So this is a master built smoker heater element and we were having some problems with it so I thought I'd pull it out and check it and most videos will tell you, you know, if you come across here and you get these leads in here like so. If it shows a, um, you know, the continuity, then the, the thing's good. And this one actually does show a continuity. However, <clears throat> it's still bad. Uh, this one was tripping GFI breakers, and I'll explain why in just a second. So the heater element is made up of basically three parts. You've got the internal wire, which is usually nichrome, and then a ceramic or an insulating material, electrically insulating material, and then usually some sort of like stainless steel or similar covering on the outside. <clears throat> and what happens is electricity flows through that nichrome wire and it acts like a big resistor, heats the whole thing up kind of like a light bulb, and creates the heat. So in this case what we've got is if you notice if I put a lead on this side and then touch it to the outer case like so hold on. Oh, I was slipping a little bit there we go you'll see I've got continuity between the wire and the outside casing that should not be the case it's actually dangerous that means electricity is flowing on the outer casing and it shouldn't have any that's why this one was chipping the GFI breaker it normally the ground wire screws in right there. So that's what tripped it up. Now, what probably happened is, as you can see, the plugs, here's a new one. And you can see these plugs are right here, they're pink, you can't miss them. The plugs are missing on this one, and this is probably magnesium oxide or some other ceramic powder kind of material. And they put that on the outside of the wire there and then encase that, like I said earlier, with the steel. If that ceramic breaks down, then you could potentially have a connection between the internal wire and the outside casing, which is obviously bad. That's what happened here, and the GFI breaker caught it and shut it off. So, quick test here on the new one to make sure everything's good. We come across the wires right here, and we see that there's some resistance, as there should be about 12 ohms, that's about right. We're going to check from the lead to the casing and we see it's out of limits which is good and this plate should also be out of limits because it's connected to the casing. We make sure that there's no damage to it and that the plugs are in there and they're firmly in place, which they are, and that's pretty much all there is to it. But you do need to check and make sure that there's no continuity between this lead here and the outside casing. If there is, then the coil is bad and you need to toss it and get a new one. So, anyway, I hope that was informative and helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you found it helpful, please subscribe. I will be following up this video with another one on how to install that into the Masterbuilt Smoker. Thanks.